Hey, good morning, friends. Today is Wednesday, August 14. Hope you're doing well today. It's good to be together. This morning we are looking uh, at Psalm 102, <clears throat> and there's a tagline on this psalm that says, This is a prayer of an afflicted person who has grown weak and pours out a lament before the Lord. I know for some who are praying today, this might feel very, uh, very real. Perhaps you're in uh, in that place where life has been very difficult. Um, the, the challenges of life are very palpable, and, and you're sensing that. And and for many on this on this uh, the, the pray this morning, uh, maybe that that's not where you are now. Um, I, I hope that's not where everybody is, of course, uh, that some of you are feeling the joy of God today and the grace and love and peace that comes with knowing Christ. And, and, and yet this is still a prayer you can pray, and it's a way for us all to pray together on behalf of those for whom this is very palpable. So uh, let's go to God with our, with our psalm, with our, with our Bob, by praying together, Psalm 102. Let's, let's hear God's word to us. Hear my prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I'm in distress. Turn your ear to me when I call and answer me quickly. For my days vanish like smoke. My bones burn like glowing embers. My heart is blighted and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. In my distress I groan aloud and am reduced to skin and bones. I'm like a desert owl, like an owl among ruins. I lie awake, I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who rail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle my drink with tears. For your great, because of your great wrath, for you have taken me up and thrown me aside. My days are like the evening shadow, I wither away like grass. But you, Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it's time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come, for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written down for a future generation, that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem when the peoples and the kingdoms assemble to worship the Lord. In the course of my life, he broke my strength. He cut short my days. So I said, do not take me away, my God, in the midst of my days. Your years go on through all generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them and they will be discarded. But you remain the same, and your ears will, years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence, and their descendants will be established before you. The gospel reading this morning comes from John chapter 3. Now Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside, and he spent some time there, and he baptized. John also was baptizing at Aeon near Salim, because water was abundant there. People kept coming and were being baptized. John, of course, had not yet been thrown into prison. Now a discussion about purification arose between John's disciples and a Jew. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you testified, here he is baptizing, and all are going to him. And John answered, No one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. You yourselves were witnesses that I had said, I'm not the Messiah, but I have been sent ahead of him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at his voice. For this reason, my joy has been fulfilled. 
He must increase, but I must decrease. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what is seen and heard. And no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has placed all things in his hands. Whoever believes the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but it must endure God's wrath. I invite you to join me as we go to God with our prayers this morning, thanksgiving and intercession. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning in the gift of life, which we have received by your grace and the new life you give in Christ. We thank you today for ministries of compassion, service, and witness. We thank you for those who make and grow all the things that we need. Thank you for the communities in which we live. Thank you for strength and ability to serve your purpose today. Thank you for indications of your love at work in the world. I invite you, friends, to lift up your own prayers of thanksgiving. God of grace, we offer our prayers for the needs of others. We commit ourselves to serve them even as you have served us in Christ. Today, Lord, we pray for the church in Africa. We pray for those closest to us in this community. We pray for friends and relatives who are far away. Pray for all who care for others in mind and body and spirit. I invite you to lift up your own prayers of intercession. God of our salvation as the light of morning dawns, heaven and earth sing your praise. Cause us to live and grow in faith that we would bear good fruit for the glory of your holy realm. We pray this all through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, good to be with you. Blessings to you as you go through your day today. Take care, and we will see you again soon. God bless.